everyone, it is Ola, and I am back with another episode, <laughs> basically, whatever, installment of me reviewing the book, um, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson. This will be chapter number three, um, and it is called You Are Not Special. Now, I think I'm going to start off this episode with actually reading a, a section of the book, it's page 46 and 47. It really kind of sums up the whole point of this chapter, so I'm going to start with that. But entitlement is a failed strategy. It's just another high. It's not happiness. The true measurement of self-worth is not how a person feels about her positive experiences, but rather how she feels about her negative experiences. You know, a person who actually has a high self-esteem or self-worth is able to look at the negative parts of his character, frankly. You know, yes, sometimes I'm irresponsible with money. Yes, sometimes I exaggerate, I exaggerate my own success, etc., etc., and then acts to improve upon them. But entitled people, because they are incapable of acknowledging their own problems openly and honestly, are incapable of improving their lives in any lasting or meaningful way. They are left chasing high after high and accumulate greater and greater levels of denial. So, um, yeah, that's basically it for what I want to read about that. So, from that quote, you can probably already guess that this chapter is kind of about entitlement. <laughs> um, and I'll just delve right into it. The chapter kind of starts off by saying, uh, Mark Manson, the author, kind of says um, that our problems are not unique and we should recognize that we are not privileged um, with better or worse problems um, than others. It's not really a good way to think. Um, he also talks about how, you know, with each generation and with the development of our technology, um, our lives get easier, which has created a sort of uh, entitlement um, that we feel we should deserve better lives, easier lives, um, and on and on and on. And media only shows us the best, and but and less often the worst. So media shows us the extremes of the human experience. We see perfect model bodies, and we see tragic um, breaking news um, on TV. Um, and this makes us forget that most people are actually average, um, and this makes us feel bad about all ourselves. This um, plays out in two ways. You know, we only could only be watching the news, which shows us all these bad things happening, so we could be like, oh my god, the world's horrible, um, or we could be, you know, scrolling through Instagram, seeing all these amazing Instagram fitness gurus and bodies, and thinking that everyone looks like that, and that we, you know, have a problem, when really, it's like the 1% of population, um, and, you know, we're pretty average, and <laughs> we should feel, you know, pretty decent about ourselves. Um, and this whole experience um, creates the idea that being average is being a failure. Um, but really, if everyone, you know, if everyone uh, deserved to be extraordinary, no one would be. You know, people tell us, you know, and you all deserve to be extraordinary and be the best, when really, no one, not everyone cannot be the best. Um, and, you know, average is okay. Some people have to be average. That's just the way it is. Um, so, yeah, the story that we tell ourselves that everyone deserves to be extraordinary and is extraordinary in their own selves um, is really a contradictory motto to live by. Um, now, breaking this down more, Mark also talks about a phenomenon where some people actually choose to be seen as worse off, you know, play a victim, if they can't make it to the top of the bell curve as an exceptional person. Um, which seems crazy, um, that it's better to be seen as worse than a victim than average. Um, this, you know, phenomenon creates this idea that life is only worthwhile if you're exceptional because 
uh, that means everyone else sucks <laughs> and is worthless, which is not a good attitude. Um, you know, if we think our, our life is only worth worthwhile, if we're perfect and the best, um, then what are the lives of average people? Are they worthless? No, not really. <laughs> not at all. Um, yeah, and then he goes on to talk about how you know, the actual positive way of looking at things is that exceptional people are the people who, uh, are who they are, because, oh yeah, sorry, it's that exceptional people are who they are because, because they know they are not great, um, yet they recognize that with, um, uh, hard work and effort and practice, they can improve, um, and you know, accepting this, uh, and accepting the simplicities of life, it lifts off pressure to be perfect and allows you to sort of enjoy life and do what you can. Um, that's sort of how he ends off the chapter, just by kind of saying that, you know, accept that, you know, it's okay to accept that you might be average. Um, but, you know, being average is not a bad thing. Um, because so many other people are as well, and there shouldn't be this pressure to be perfect. Um, and, well, really, there is no perfection, but exceptional, to be exceptional. Um, and, you know, it's okay to acknowledge that to be exceptional, put, you need to put in a lot of work. Not everyone can do that. Um, not all of us have the time to master everything. Um, you know, so there's nothing wrong with living an average life where, you know, you enjoy yourself and you do what you can, even if it's not extraordinary. Um, because that's what most of us really are doing, uh, in reality. Anyway, I feel like I rambled a little bit at the end, but I hope you guys understood that. Again, this is a video, so you can watch it right back. Um, thank you guys for watching. Like this video if you like this series. Comment below with maybe any other book ideas you'd like to see me read and review. And with that, I will bid you farewell and see you guys in the next one. Peace.